Welcome to Retired Time Productions. What? I don't have any waypoints though. <laughs> Alright, All so right. we got video, we got quadage, here goes the Pixhawk. I get out there a little bit for me. Apparently after you change the settings you gotta reboot to make it oh, what? Well, there, I want out the whole mode, there you go. It says it on there too though. <laughs> so that's something. Got it on altitude hold right now. Well, the Tyrannus is in control. I think I'm turned a little cuck right there. We got a little map of it flying around down here. Okay. So on the cell phone, it's an Android. And telemetry radio right here, talking to the quadcopter for data, data feed. Five dot go eight video. Green and back the so now the quadcopter is way down here. John's watching it in the FPV monitor. Very good little extra altitude here. Battery at ninety percent. Got plenty of battery. Nice right. altitude here right now. Get it up there high enough. I think we're. What are you going to experiment here with? Let's get it up a little bit higher. You're going to do return. I'm down here near the green. I'm just well, a little bit from it, but. Oh. Whoops. I think he's going to try return to home, but I'm. Waiting to see. It's way out I'm there. Gonna fly over to the green. It's going way over this green here, which is way down the end. I can barely see it. I'm really moving, ain't I? Yeah, you're way down there. But I got good clear signal though, which is great. All right, you're gonna flip it. What? Return to launch, me? Yeah, I didn't know if that's what you were right. planning. Return to launch. Yeah. Oh, I went back in auto tune again. I must have lost the setting for that. All right. I must have lost the setting for that. I'm gonna bring it back. Oh, there's Mike's plane. I'm going to position hold. Position hold mode. There you go. There I you are. To guide to now I'm stabilized. Hopefully here. Oh, yeah. I don't want to gain out. So I want to lower. So the auto tune is still on and. So we couldn't do a return to home right now, but I'm, gonna able, I'm actually able. To, I'm actually able to fly it um, with a good precision and uh, position hold. Yeah, it's very precise. This is the Pix Hawk. I'm coming in kind of close, and I 450 quad with the Pix Hawk and 5.8 video. I see and you landed right good there. Good picture of it right there. I have to go to the left a little bit to get away from this plane. Oh, having trouble following it. <laughs> oh, he's now in the way. Okay, there you go. Now he's out. Bringing it in. Coming right at me. A little closer would be better. A little closer, yeah. I'm zoomed all the way out now. This mold actually is going really good with this. You're now close to where you took off from. Start to bring it down here. Oh, that was a beautiful landing. Awesome flight. Awesome flight. Still, the, we still got to figure out why the other one still like that, though. You know? The auto tune, yeah. The auto tune, yeah. yeah just so, what's fine. your battery voltage now? Uh, Sixty-two percent, um, but fifteen point four or five, something like that. Okay. Let's see about that uh, parameter thing here. Okay. I got 62% battery on here though. Um, Walk up here and take a look. There it is right there. I'm going to take a risk and put my hand in there and just turn it around. There. You can hit that button right now if you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I thought I wrote that one. I want to change that oh, do I have to hold the button? Huh? Do I have to hold? There we go. I had to hold the button to uh, disarm. I did not remember the auto tune from changing the back. All right. Um, just a quick test. We're gonna just bring it up a little bit and just hit return to home and then take it back out just to make sure it says it on here as return to home. Okay. I have to arm it again though. All right, I'll go back and arm it. Just gonna check the return to home real quick. 
far do this. Alright. Because it returned to launch in the OSD at least. Holding it till it... You don't have to do that. It said it on here already, but just toggling with it on the ground. Oh, did it? Oh. Oh, okay. As far as one that was in the other one, it's this one said uh, um, out, well, it said the uh, auto tune, and this one said it returned to launch, which is not what we wanted. So. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so now it's working now. All right, let's go. Uh, let's do a short flight to see if it works. Yeah. Well, I'll just step screen backwards. Stabilize. Hmm? Oh, I have to arm it first. Hold on. We're gonna do a short one, like go out part way, maybe. Yeah, just part way. I'm gonna keep it low too, just in case. Low and slow. I got. I think it would. Sounds hold. like somebody's having a party out there. Put it in position hold. Flying it in position oh, hold, huh? That's good enough, you think? Maybe a little more? Yeah, that'll this be way. fine. Over this way in case it tries to go for the tree. Oh yeah, I don't know. Just in case it tries to go for the tree, that's what that's for. Alright. And now, return to launch. Let's give it a try here. Oh wait, wait. Return the plane was in the way. Return to it goes up and it's coming back. It's coming back. It has to go up first, I think, to what? Yeah, 100 feet, I think it is. That's yeah, it looks, like, back. looks okay. like about 100 feet. Coming back, you know, hopefully it won't try to drop on a Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's right over our heads now. I took it out. He took it out, but it was working. It's spinning the wrong way, though. There, there we go. go. So it and does we'll work. Just a tad so it don't end up hitting that tree. Bringing it down. Bringing it back it's down. Still in position hold, by the way. So return to home did bring it back. He he wants to land I'm it manually at 50%, though. I'm at so I have to bring it in pretty quick here. But let's see what I can do here. Landing it manually. Well, somewhat manually. Perfect. It always does that weird thing when I switch it out and just stabilize. I don't know why. Does well, little, it works at least. We got it. <laughs> being a little finicky. Oh, you still got 15. It said 50% battery though when it's runs running, so that's pretty bad. I <laughs> yeah, I guess so. There. Okay, we'll just stop right there. Great. Yeah. Really worked good. Yeah. The Android phone with the mission. I drained my battery by 10% during this flight though. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, that's where I need a. Uh, that's where I need one of these mm -hmm. OTGs that has the power adapter on it. So what are you using on this to pick up the map? Is it the uh, 3G GPS within here using the app? Is it using 3G for the uh, communicate with Google? Probably so. Um, if it was near Wi-Fi, I would use that. See, it's got 3G lit up right there, though. But yeah, okay. If yeah. those arrows light up, it means it's transmitting something. So like, if I were to do this, mm -hmm. well, let's start loading. See, now it's blanking. So it is using 3G right now. Luckily, they optimized service so I can get five gigs a month. <laughs> yeah, and this app is free on the internet, right? Yeah, it is. Actually, it takes two apps, and they're both free. What are the two apps? One's 3DR Services, and uh, the other one's Tower. So, Tower, okay. Anyway, I'm going to shut it down now. <laughs> and this is one of the original Hobby King uh, DIY, do-it-yourself goggles, DIY goggles. Or, you know, this has a little monitor in there. It's not the fancy new one, but it really works good. For John, since he has glasses. RSSI critical. Telemetry done. lost. Okay, it's done. Over and out. Okay.